There's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and I kind of just never had the airplane to do it. As the way began, my, this is a slightly better line. So I gotta pull a little harder through here. Right here's where we wanna be. The past 61. The Reno Air Races are sort of the stuff of legend. You know, it's one of these things every pilot's kind of heard of. Most people don't really know how it works, don't know all about it. It's a lot of people from the West Coast that tend to go to it. And the general public has no idea that the fastest motorsport on the planet even exists. Alpine traffic, Albatross to the back deck, and runway 31, Alpine. 46 uniform to Reno Stead today. RTS, we are off to do the coolest thing I have ever done, you guys. I'm so excited. Airspeed's alive. Feels like a slight right crosswind, 80 knots. Looking for 100. There's 90, 100 rotate. 120 gears coming up. Alpine traffic, elbow trash jets off runway 31 to put into the uh, southwest Alpine. Okay, that's pretty easy. Direct, then all the way up to 280 right off the bat. What a beautiful day to be, be alive. If only I had remembered to put my step up. So this year I got the chance to go to Pylon Racing Seminar, PRS, where we learn how to race, get certified to race, uh, figure out what this is all about, and find out who the people are that do this. And it turns out they're basically all former military fighter pilots, test pilots. Hey, Reno, are you filming today? I am. Great. I'm out to Reno for the uh, Pylon Racing Seminar. Sounds like fun. Should be. Okay, three green pressures up. Big power, all that kind of stuff. And it's incredible to get to learn from them how to go do this and, and to get in the cockpit and go fly one of these things, push it to its absolute limits, negative four to positive eight Gs, 500 miles an hour over the desert, 50 feet with another airplane 10 feet off your wing doing the same thing. But yeah, anyway. I, can't, I can't hit six. Yeah. <laughs> After all. I know. All right, congratulations. Good fly. It's by far the most intense and most exhilarating thing I've ever done. It, you just can't describe it. And so we brought a, an entire team um, to film this and capture it and put you right in the heart of all the action, in the cockpit, on the ground, going around the race course and learning about these people's stories and what's going on and how does this all work, what does it mean to, to race, why do people do it, why is it ending, where is it going, uh, so many questions, some incredible interviews, and just incredible action. We're shooting on IMAX certified cameras and lenses, just capturing the history and, and the, you know, the detail of what goes into this, putting you right there. Yeah, after the negative four or no, just this, in general? unlike anybody's ever done before. And so we're making a feature-length documentary. Uh, you can pre-order it at mattguthmiller.com slash reno. Here's a little teaser, and I think it's just gonna be the most incredible aviation film you guys have ever seen. It is the fastest motorsport in the world. It is kind of this, this strange beginning to an end. To the fans that are the diehard fans, this is in their blood. It draws a very competitive person. The first official air race they had here was in 1964. And they said, you know, racing was like combat. When it was probably the biggest motorsports event in the nation and the world. There wasn't the internet, so people were either going to a stick and ball game or they were sprint cars running around a dirt track or there was air racing. Reno is the only place in the world that this happens and now Reno's ending. Matt Guthmiller is a world record holder. At 19 he's the youngest pilot ever to circumnavigate the globe and he did it alone. The rookie is anyone that has not raced in Reno. Yeah, I think I'm probably the youngest guy here. That happens a lot. It is a young guy. Speed moving through 240, accelerating. Each one of us is looking for every single edge we can have on the person next to us. An eighth of a second can be fatal. It doesn't matter if you're a test pilot, a shuttle astronaut, 
you go through the same school as everyone else. I remember just sitting there watching planes go around the course and thinking, you know, that's really cool, but I don't want to be down here. I want to be up there flying with them. I, I mean, I just can't imagine something more exciting than being in the cockpit of one of these airplanes going around that race course at 500 miles an hour. Jet pace 555, third on course. Jet pace is 9,500 above. Everybody out. Going around the race course, 500 miles an hour, that's 800 feet per second. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. There's, there's not a course, there's, you know, kind of pylons out there denoting a course. And you're 50 to 75 feet off the desert floor. And there's an airplane 10 feet off your wing. Can he be adaptive to that environment? It, it's kind of very high stakes to get to, you know, the really high stakes. This is like one of the most extreme sports in the world. It's very athletic. We're going out there, we're pulling six plus Gs. It goes by fast. Three football fields a second. You don't have time to react. You're looking way up. You gotta be focused. You gotta know what's coming next, where you're going. You gotta be thinking you know, at 500 miles an hour. Why do they call it the Valley of Speed? Where you go to fall. 